1969 Ford Mustang Super CJ coming up next on Monster Hobby's Model Car Garage. Hello once again Blue Oval fans and welcome back to another amazing unboxing video as today we look at Ravel's 1969 Mustang Super CJ, the Hot Rod Edition. This amazing model kit has been released a few times, so let's just take a look at some of the different box arts before we actually get down to our bench and tear the lid off this great beauty. So let's do that right now. It's 1969 and you've got a Mustang that you want to make crazy for the street. So what do you do? You put in the Cobra Jet engine. And that's exactly what Ford did on this amazing model kit. And here we have the Hot Rod Edition. I do believe these used to come with the Hot Rod sticker, which I no longer have. <laughs> anyway, this kit is really cool. Came out originally in 1989 and has only had a few issues since that time as we saw in the box art and the most recent one being the 2018 version 2019 version and they turned it into a boss 302 but this one of course is a mach 1 with the mach 1 decals on there and the tornado style racing wheels the ford ones that's really cool so let's just turn this box up on its side and listen to the parts fall detailed features 25th scale cobra jet 428 Detailed interior, opening hood with shaker air scoop, molded in white, clear, and plated, and decals are included, thank goodness. I don't know why they said that, but let's just take a look at how they built the model on the box. There's actually two versions you can do. You can get all these racing decals on here, which we'll see in a minute. This one, of course, has the headlamps in the grill, or the turn signal lights, whatever. <laughs> and then... We've got underneath our hood here, looking very nice, and the back of the car with, of course, the Mach 1 decal on there and the typical Ford style rear end. So we'll just zoom this out again, turn our kit onto the side. Now, there you can see, of course, the regular Mustang just back on the lid. Uh, turning it again. Now, check this out. Check out these decals on here. These are the race sponsored style decals with our Cobra Jet and I can't quite read the name there. Don Nichols and Dick Dick Graham Ford, I believe. It's on there. Oh, we'll see it better on our decal sheet. There's a crease right along here and I can't really see it the way I'm standing. So you gotta excuse me there. Okay, and then we get our detail on the side of the box which of course camera's got a little issue there and our barcode so you know this kit came out later 1989 by Ravel turning on edge there again is the model with Cobra Jet decals on the side which unfortunately can't zoom in that well but anyway so there's our box let's just crack the lid on this ah okay there we go. Oh, okay, so it's Dick Brennan. Dick Brennan Ford. There we go. So yeah, there's our decal sheet. And then our instructions. And I bought this September 17th, 1993 at Zellers for $6.49. Hallelujah, those were the days. Okay, there's our chrome. Here's our glass. Everything really shifted in here, didn't it? There's our frame. And here's our body. Looking all nice. There's our undercarriage. The hood with our engine. One piece popped out, which is right there. We got our red tail lamps. We got our little polyglass GTs with our chrome wheel in there, the front clip, 
spoilers and all that. And then all these nice parts. Seats and tires. Looks like a flash. Okay, so I'm going to clear this out of the way and then we'll look at those instructions. And here we have our instruction sheet for our 69 Mustang Super CJ. And I'll just zoom back here because of course we have to open this. And it opens up pretty wide. It's not too many panels, but of course everything is just like really small in here, right? <laughs> and then there's our back end. So let's just open this back up to page one and check out our instructions here. There's a little paint color callout sheet with the letters. So again, you just add in in where you see the letters there. So let's just zoom in and check this thing out. So here's our instruction sheet with panel one and two, which of course is the engine going into our chassis. And now, if you saw our review last time with the Shelby Mustang, you're getting a bit of a deja vu in here. Because look at this. There's a carburetor top and bottom. This is the exact same engine as in last week. Valve cover, cylinder head, left and right hand side block with the transmission on the back, separately molded oil pan, oil filter, the stock exhausts, and then on this side you got that same manifold with a little rod up here for the air cleaner, the starter motor, the pulley and alternator and all that pop on the exact same chassis. So deja vu all over again. Here we have our interior going together, very much the same interior as our Mustang our, uh, sorry, Carroll Shelby Mustang. So there's our dashboard with the steering wheel going on, the gear shift lever going into our tub here, which of course is all, everything's molded in there, including the door panels. Just going to slide this across today. There's our seats, the exact same seats as the Mustang, or the, the, uh, Carroll Shelby Mustang popping into there. And then our same radiator going together with the radiator fan shroud, going into this nice engine bay, and then panel six here shows the top of the radiator support with little horns and our oil cooler gluing together and going in front here. The front of the car, of course, is painted flat black. This would be the blackout paint used so you couldn't see body color through the front of the grill. Panel seven shows our body in here. It says to paint the interior headliner panel in maroon. We got our little lights in the glass. You cut those out. You glue your mirror on a little peg in the front windshield. And panel eight is showing our interior popping in into the body and then our front shock absorber is being glued in in the wheel wells. Oop. Okay, panel nine is the chassis popping in on our body underneath. And then step 10 is our exhaust manifold, or exhaust pipes, the rear differential with the springs and drive shaft all popping into the end. It's nice for our stock version. Panel 11 shows our shock absorbers being glued in here off the rear axle. And 12 shows the front cowl being glued on with our parking lights. And then under the hood, we've got our radiator hose. Our brake master cylinder, all of this goes into this component here. And then we've got panel 13 and 14, which shows the stiffeners going on the top. And then our front spoiler gluing on here. And it's showing you how to paint your side marker lamps. Panel 14 has our air cleaner drop on to our carburetor. And then we've got our headlights all going in and uh, headlight buckets in the back here, so pretty cool. And then panel 15 is showing our front bumper and license plate all gluing on. Panel 16 shows our wheels being put on, and here we have our wheel inner, which will click on to this little uh, peg here, so make sure you have this all correct before you pop them on, because you cannot back these out. There's our tire going on, and then our outer wheel. And then we move over to panel 17 here, and this is the back panel of our car. There are tail lamps gluing in, and you can paint these silver in the back to make them pop out. And then we've got a little backup lights glue in there. And we'll do panel 18 and 19 together. There is panel 17 being popped up underneath, and you can paint the Mustang here with silver. 
Mustang letterings. Then we've got our little spoiler, glues on these pedestals into the back here, and then our rear bumper. Now the spoiler, it says, is optional. You don't need to have it on there if you don't like it. Now we turn our instructions over to the back, and here is panel 20. It says to glue on your mirrors with little chrome inserts into your mirrors there as well. There's a different style of scoop from the Shelby that glues on there, factory style. And then we get our little Mustang badges gluing up into our sail panels and a gas cap going into the back. Panel 21 has our hood going on. And then we've got our shaker scoop and the shaker hood seal. This will glue onto the top of your air cleaner. It does say to put a little adhesive tape under here. That's, of course, if you're going to paint the body as one bit or maybe even for some alignment. I don't know. And our final panel is our decal application. It has both the stock and the racing version on here, although you're really racing this as a stock car. But still, it's nice to have these decals all over the place. So we got our stripes going on there, a Mach 1 red stripes. And of course, up across the back here. And then a license plate decal in the front and the one for the hood on here. And I like these views because you could scan these into your computer, print them off, and then color them in with your pencil crayons. Or if that's too old tech, <laughs> you can color this in the computer. And that completes our look at our 69 Mustang Super CJ instructions. Now let's check out our white plastic components. First up, of course, we have our Mustang CJ body, Cobra Jet. Here you can see that the scoops are actually hollow inside, which is quite different from the Shelby body. So again, the body on this is different, uh, but accurate for the Mustang. Up underneath, we've got some old marks in the roof, which should be taken care of with your number 16 hobby blade and some sandpaper. There's little pins under here to align up your windows. Overall, quite clean on that rotation. The body, of course, looks correct for Mustang. There's some flash up here at the front. Underneath the hood, you get the nice battery and everything molded in place. And of course, the open element grill up here, which is still like with GM, they started to hide it under the hood in this year, but not for Ford. Then across the back, we have the Mustang raised lettering there, which you can paint with your hobby brush. Overall, I'm impressed with the body on this, and you will be too. Next up, we have this wonderful chassis, which of course is unibody style, the subframes, and then all the front suspension is molded in one place, so a little cleanup with some uh, number 16 hobby blade, number 11 hobby blade, and some files will get it together for you. There might be a little seam line on these pegs. Remove it. These are like mushroom head, so remember when you pop your wheels on. <laughs> Do it when everything is done, because you'll never get them off. A little bit of a um, parting line, or a, what do you call that? Where it was connected to the parts tree on there. The back here. Yeah, stagnated shocks, one ahead, one behind. That was something Ford was trying out. Helped with stability back in the day. Nice detail on the molding in here. And again, like I say, should be fairly easy to build. Now, the first set of parts that I want to show you is, of course, our interior bucket, the scoops, the top of the radiator, our exhausts, and our front springs and our suspension, as well as the seats here. This one is loose, so I'm just going to move it off camera. Now let's bring this up. You can see the nice tuck and roll pattern on our seats here, as well as the nice seat backs. Our mufflers, those could be um, some nice old cherry bombs if you wanted to paint them red. <laughs> anyway, there's the top of our rad support. And then look at our interior bucket on the inside. You can see the nice tuck and roll, of course, carried on. There's a little bit of mold mark up in here, some just behind the seats, but you get your pedals in here as well as your center console and your door panels. This is the same one as in the Shelby Mustang. And again, I will say that this is a very good point for someone to start building models right after they come out of the snap together promo styles. Next up, we have some body panels and engine parts. And here we've got our intake manifold there's our air cleaner, the two-piece carburetor, shock absorbers for the rear, our wheel backs, our engine oil pan, our exhaust manifolds, our intake 
or our cylinder heads, pardon me. There's our radiator, front water pump, our mirrors, our oil filter, the exhaust tips for the back, the master cylinder, the distributor, starter motor, our belts and pulleys, a radiator hose, there's our rear axle with springs and drive shaft, our fan, and our cool looking Mustang steering wheel. Everything in here is found in the Shelby kit, except for the rear panel, which of course is for our Shelby. This is a standard Mustang style. So we're just bringing this up into the camera. You can see the nice detail. You can see the little holes on the spokes on the steering wheel. All of this looks really good. Not any mold marks on the back, which is nice. So again, really cool. Lots of great parts. You'll have fun. And here's the last of our white components. We get our dashboard here. Now I've kind of added some bits together. So there's our dashboard. Here's our spoiler and front nose spoiler, rear spoiler. There's a little post for it. And there's our shaker scoop, which will go right in this hole, pop up through the hole. There's our front end of the car. Then our hood, of course. There's our left and right hand side of our engine block, roll bar, little stiffeners, the fan shroud, and our little cooling fan. So let's just bring up some of these parts to our camera. Yeah, move that out of the way. So turning it over, we've got that nice mat underneath. This, of course, looks correct for the Mustang hood under there. Then our dashboard. Again, we've got that nice. There's some simulated wood grain in there. Now let's put cast a shadow across there. There you can see all the gauges as well as the clock in the side here for our passengers. So again, very nicely done. Their little shaker scoop has some ribs across the top. So all of this is quite correct for this Mustang. And here we have my favorite parts tree, which is the chrome part tree. But I'm a little sad because there is some flash on here. Which, of course, when you scrape that off, means that you're exposing the white plastic underneath. So you have to touch it up with paint, and that kind of makes me sad. Anyway, there's our wheels. These, of course, are like the Ford Talladega wheels, which are really cool. And then we've got our valve covers and everything. So this parts tree doesn't have any custom bits to it. But what it does have are still pretty amazing. There's that front grille with those lights in there. And our front and rear bumper. Again, the nice detail on those wheels. There is one missing out of here because I tried it in a wheel. <laughs> There's our Cobra Jet valve covers as well. So again, very nicely done. And all ready for the fun. Here we have our glass components. And unfortunately, these weren't in a bag, so they did get a bit of scuffing on them. So I'll have to wax that out. We get our turn signal lights and our headlights here, as well as additional lights. So this, of course, is the same glass that was in our Shelby kit. But our Shelby kit didn't have this section on it. So this would be, of course, for the CJ. And then our different tail lights. Remember, the Shelby one had the uh, Mercury tail lights from the Cougar. These ones have just the three verticals, which are typical of the regular Mustang. But of course, these are nice and flat across the back. Oops. <laughs> Actually, they're sunken in. But you could paint uh, some silver in there or use a bit of bare metal foil or something so that you got the reflectors off the back of these, which is really nice. And it's always a good year when you have good year on your car. And these are the old Polyglass GT tires, which these would have been actually more accurate in that Shelby kit from last time around. But of course, this is in this kit, so you do get the right kind of wheels, which, when you paint them up, should look like this. And so here's our wheels now, our tires, pardon me. And of course, you can see that they've got the nice, accurate tread on the ends as well. And they're blank on the other side, so if you wanted to put like a pinstripe on there for your white wall tires, there you go. So again, some really cool stiff wheels that should be nice to clean up. Finally, we get our decal sheet for our Mustang Cobra Jet, which does include the red Mach 1 stripes right out of factory. The only thing is I wish it had some different colored stripes as well, but what can you do? There's the black and whites for the hood, 
And then we get these beautiful Cobra Jet and Dick Brannan Ford decals with, of course, Don Nicholson as a driver. And there's also these Jardine ones, which are cool. All the little race numbers and everything. And then Illinois Jet, which again is another one of these personalized license plates that I personally hate because you can't just have this as uh, anywhere kind of car. It has to be Illinois and it has to be Jet. But overall, I love this decal sheet, or decal sheet, pardon me, and I wish I could use these on a different car, but of course they're kind of specific to this Mustang. And that completes our look at our 1969 Mustang Super CJ Hot Rod Edition. Now you may be wondering if I feel a little upset because I basically just reviewed the same Shelby Mustang model kit from the previous video. But overall, I'll say that I'm not upset with that at all, because the thing is, you actually do get a different body in here, even though the interior and everything else is typical Mustang. And of course, this is one of those rare Mustang Super CJs that has now been turned into a Boss 302. So I'm actually happy that I did buy this kit back in the day. And now I want to ask you guys a question. Have you built this model kit before? And if so, we'd love to see your pictures of it over on our Facebook page. So after this video, why not check it out? Well, we hope you enjoyed that amazing video of the 1969 Ford Mustang Super CJ by Ravel. And if you love watching these great videos and love catching up on me every week, unboxing these amazing models and showing you things that you may not know about them, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, your YouTube will let you know when I do that so that you won't miss out. And don't forget to check out our model kits that are available currently at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And until next time, everyone, happy model building.